what's going on? Joe Coffey here for PremierGuitar.com. We're at Frankfurt Music Mess 2010, checking out guitars from Mayton, uh, Maton. We were just talking about the pronunciation. Patrick, tell me, what is the right way to say this guitar? It's say Mayton. But with the... Uh, Mayton. So it's uh, the Australian A. It's for A, mate. Mate, <laughs> Mayton. And on, uh, just on, Mayton. Okay. And yeah. I can tell you the uh, origin of this name. Uh, the company was founded in 1946 by a man by the name of Bill May, and uh, Bill Bill's surname was used, so it was May M A Y Tone. So originally it was May Tone, and then it was shortened to May Tone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. So that's how it happened. All right. Well, we know the name is associated with the great Tommy Emanuel. Uh, we know they're from Australia, but. I think a lot of readers uh, may be interested to find out more. And let's talk specifics. Uh, what products do you have here today that uh, you can show us? Okay. We have, uh, speaking of the great Tommy Emanuel, we have the 808 TE. This is the uh, signature model for Tommy. Uh, we also have the 12 string, the 425 12 string, uh, and, and some electrics. But we'll maybe talk about this one in more detail. This is uh, exactly as spec for Tommy. And it's a Sitka spruce face. Uh, we use Queensland maple back and sides and neck. And this is an Australian wood that's grown in the north of Australia, up in the Crocodile Territory, um, in the uh, Atherton Tablelands, inland from Cairns. Rosewood fingerboard. And it has the CGP inlay on the fingerboard, inlaid in pearl. Now, the CGP stands for Certified Guitar Player. And this was uh, bestowed on Tommy from Chet Atkins, and Tommy has given us permission to use the CGP as uh, within his model. That's cool. So, yeah. Very cool. Only a handful of people have uh, been bestowed. That's that, right. Uh, Only a very precious few. Now, the um, the pickup system, which is you know anyone who's seen Tommy would be stunned by his sound, uh, and the pickup system is is apart from him being a genius player, the pickup system has to do a lot with this. This is the AP mic, so we have a uh, bass, bass treble mid, uh, bass treble volume and mid down here and then we have a microphone volume as well. So uh, we have, and the whole thing is powered by two AA batteries. And we have a piezo pickup under the saddle and the pickup, the piezos are very substantial, they're uh, five mil diameter uh, 11 mil tall piezo cylinders and they're held in, in an aluminium channel with these two uh, bolts holding that whole thing firm so we get massive output from the, the pickup. We also have a microphone housed in this foam housing as well and we blend the two how together. Much of which is going out? Well the, the best thing to do to start with is to say okay let's go 90% uh, piezo, 10% microphone. The idea of the microphone is not to be the whole sound. The microphone is to add upper mid uh, ambience, uh, to add the air around the, the tone. Um, the piezo does a terrific job of bringing in the you know all of the frequencies, uh, but of course the piezo, the limitations of the piezo are that you don't get some of the natural ambience as well, and the microphone adds that ambience. So, so you, you use a little bit of microphone, the majority of piezo. And this is the 425, EM425. Uh, and the main thing to note about this is Queensland walnut, back and sides. So this is also a wood that grows in the same region as the Queensland maple. Lovely tone wood. Uh, and uh, How would you describe it for those who aren't familiar uh, tone-wise? What other maybe more common woods would you compare it to? Sure. Well, I think the best thing to do is to use rosewood and mahogany as being the two uh, benchmarks that you would say, um, you know, measure up against. Uh, walnut will be somewhere in between those two. It has some of the darkness of rosewood and some of the bell-like qualities of rosewood. Um, maybe not quite as much zinc, so it's it's um, it's a little little mellower than than I guess rosewood. Yeah. Um, and this on this on the M2, sorry, on the 425, we use this as a laminate on the back and sides, and it works spectacularly as a laminate. Works really well. And then we have a Queensland maple neck, which has got some lovely figure in it. 
as well. Uh, and most of our necks on our acoustic, or in fact on everything, most of our necks are Queensland maple. We use it a lot, yeah. Um, AP5, which is uh, the pickup system that doesn't incorporate the microphone. Uh, instead, we have a sweepable mid between 1 and 2K, and we can cut and boost the mid to help sculpt the, the kind of tone we're after. And as with our, all our 12 strings, they play in tune all the way up the neck. A very good intonation with our 12 strings. Now this is the BB1200 Josh Homm model. And we, uh, we designed this in conjunction with Josh. Um, and it's the BB comes from his first one of these, which was called Betty Blue. And uh, it's um, solid carved blackwood, back and sides and the center is a core of solid timber also. So what we've done here is uh, we've carved the internals out first of the core, then we carve the back and the face internal surfaces, glue the whole thing together to create a box, then we shape the, the outer and then flip it over and shape the back and cut away the profile. And that's how it's done. And the neck is a, a, a trench neck, so it sits in a pocket glued into that that pocket, uh, 25 and a half inch scale. In fact, all of our guitars, unless otherwise specified, are 25 and a half inch scale. Um, and the uh, designs on the on the head, that's our original logo from 1946. And this M uh, is another motif, if you like, from this uh, an early period as well. So we we have a, a rich tradition to draw on over you know having been in business over 60 years we have many sort of uh, artistic and, and creative ideas that we've had in the past that we can incorporate into into now and the future great looking guitar i love the trapeze yeah. bridge that's yeah. fantastic yep this also comes with a stud mount tailpiece uh, and and also comes in gloss so this model is satin also available in gloss and it has an extraordinary range of sounds on board. These uh, pickups have Alnico 8 magnets in them, which uh, sound particularly good in a hollow or semi-hollow format. And they are switchable from single coil to double coil, and you get an, a massive range of sounds out of these. It's a very serious guitar. The MS500 Anniversary so-called because our first electric guitar was made, our first solid electric guitar was made in 1958, which was the MS500. And uh, there are pictures of George Harrison playing a guitar like this in about 1963 on one of the Beatles' early tours in the north of England. Uh, so this is a, a tribute to that original guitar, and it's 50 years later. We, we brought this out in 2008, and it's an ongoing line. Um, What's going now, on with the electronics here? Okay, what do we got here? This is a, a, a gear shift. This is the selector switch. Um, it's, it's a rotary selector switch. And we elected to use the old descriptions from the 50s and 60s to describe the, the uh, tones. So you have the bridge, middle, and neck. The neck is cool. The bridge is, bridge is midway. Sorry, the neck is cool, the, the two combined is midway, and the bridge is hi-fi. And that, that was some crazy description from back then. So we thought that was great, we used it. These are um, a knob that we had to work very hard to replicate. It looks because, like it belongs on an old TV set. Yeah, well in 1958, when these guitars first came out, these were the knobs that were on radios and TVs, and so they were commonly available. And um, they have a great look and, and feel. So we, um, we had to go to some length, actually, to recreate this, you know. It's quite funny because the original guitar would have been made with um, objects that were available quite readily at the time. But when you go retro, it's really hard. You've got to recreate everything from the ground up. Um, same with the pickups. These are our own, our own pickups. And all of our electric guitars use our own pickups, which we make in our factory in Melbourne. And the body is silver silkwood, which is another Australian wood from that same region up in the north. Yeah, uh, I'm new to that one as well. How would yeah. you describe that? Silver silkwood. I would, I would uh, call it as a somewhere like maybe swamp ash or alder. It's in that same kind of uh, level of, of tone and density. Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, if people want to find out more, uh, you know, how they can buy one, where they can find out more, where can they go? Uh, www.maton.com.au. Okay, great. great. Cheers. Patrick, thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm Joe Coffey. You're watching PremierGuitar.com.